Jessica just loves cutting that cheese. But something that I love is flowers. And of course, spring is the time to just fill your home with flowers. But I really do get sad when they start wilting and I have to throw them away. Fortunately for us, our art director, Matana Katz, has a very interesting and fun DIY to make sure that we can get over this little problem. Matana, how are you? I'm good, thanks, and you? I'm so good. I'm so happy that we are finding ways to use up flowers so that we don't have to toss them. Exactly, because I also get a little bit sad when I, I see my flowers start to wilter in my home. All right, so, so what are we going to do? This is a very easy, quick, simple DIY to preserve them. So all you need is some heavyweight books, okay. a telephone book, some flowers, a pair of scissors, some roller towel, paper towel, and some wax paper. Fantastic. And literally, we're going to just take the wax paper and we're going to cut a big strip of it. And we're going to open up our telephone book. Alrighty. I'm going to lay it inside. Right, then when you have your cut flowers, very important, mm -hmm. um, pick them up to the point where you want to keep them. So I would like this to have quite a long stem. Okay. Also, make sure you dry them. Okay. Dry flowers are going to help you preserve the flowers for longer. Right. If they're wet, they just become a gooey, icky, mucky mess. Yeah, yeah. So like use a roller towel to dry them. I've already done that. So we just lay them out onto the paper. I see you've got different kinds of flowers here, so you yes. can really use anything. Yeah, and you can use any flower you want. Wonderful. Um, some are more tricky than others, um, but you can test them out and see, and you can do a whole lot at a, at a time. Okay. Now, the only thing is it's quite a bit of a waiting game with this oh, DIY. Right. Okay, so How long we, we would fold this over um, five to ten days. Okay. And we're gonna close this over it. And we're gonna press. So you need to be a little patient then. Yes, okay. and this is where the heavy weighted books come in. There we go. So you would put this over a book and now you would leave it Ta for five ten days okay. and we have ready oh, right don't here don't you just love tv time <laughs> imagine we said come back in five days and we'll see what happens <laughs> great we have oh. some ready pressed flowers <gasps> that's so pretty and they are so pretty especially if you use different kinds yeah. and what's great about them is once you preserve them now you think okay what do i do with them mm. so they're great mm. to use as cards friends oh, layering, wow. them, layering them out together playing with them in, in the in the front of the card and the back sticking yeah. them down you can use wood glue or any kind of print they yeah. stick quite well um use a paintbrush when you're using the wood glue mm -hmm. and then also what i've seen is great is that people have been framing them so they've chosen their favorite flowers Frame them and put glass straight on top of it so it keeps it squashed and preserved. Oh, and then frame them and put it up in their home and it just yeah. looks so beautiful. Well, that's very different. I really like that idea. I might just try it myself. Yeah. Well, Miss Matana, this was fantastic. Thank it's you so quick. much. And if you'd like to take one more look at how we made these really, really interesting flowers, well, take a look at this. Gather, cut and dry flowers. Open telephone book and place wax paper inside. Lay down flowers on wax paper. Close telephone book. Put heavy books on top. Wait five to ten days until flowers are pressed. Now it is time for us to go over to a very important topic and quite controversial as well. We're talking about the sterilization of our pets. Matana, I don't know if you know this, but over a seven year period, unsterilized cats, just a pair of them, can produce 420 thousand kittens. Over the same period, unsterilized dogs can, produ can produce 4,000 puppies. Now, it is about being a responsible pet owner and also about taking care of the health of our pets. Let's take a look. 